A quick way to build applications using DeepSeq based model is by using Langflow. Langflow offers multiple options of using DeepSeq based model. So this is one of these setups where we are using an agent. And with that, we are providing the Grok based API. And within Grok, we search for DeepSeq and select DeepSeq based model. So this is one way of accessing the DeepSeq based model this is deployed in the us so you don't have to send your data outside of the us so once you have that setup available we can provide some quick agent instructions saying that you're a helpful agent and you use the tools to answer questions and perform tasks so based on that now we can provide some tools so a basic setup is where we provide a calculator we could provide some sort of search based tool and and there are many tools available here. There are some bundles that you can utilize for the search. So in case if you had something about YouTube, you could bring in the YouTube based components. So there are multiple different components that you see either searching for the YouTube based video or transcript or trending. So anything that you might need or you might have any of these bundles that you could utilize in your application. And once you have that, you connect it in tool mode with the agent. And with that agent now knows what tools it can use. So these could be many different type of tool sets or tools that you could utilize. And with that, we can run the agent as a single operation here, or we can attach another agent downstream and multiple agents. So we can make it a sequential agent based flow, or we could make a hierarchical, or we can combine both of those. So it depends on your goal and what you're looking to get out of the agent agent set up. So here I asked a simple question, which is what is the square of a huge number? And what's going to happen is our agent is going to look for the calculator based component, and it's going to provide the expression. And based on that, it is going to get us the response of that particular question. Now, this is a very simple setup. As mentioned earlier, there are a few different templates available in Langflow that can help you get started. So if you look under the agent section, something like a research agent or market research can help you get started with in-depth topics and for example if we were to open the market agent you'll notice that there is an agent component there is also a direct LM based component attached you're going to swap the agent out with something that you want to utilize and if we were to use the deep seek based model we're going to swap it to grok and within grok we are going to look for the deep seek based model and in case if you notice that the model is not available you just have to make sure that the api key is enabled and with that you can hit this refresh button and then you can select the deep seek based r1 model and and then the LM component, of course, this is something, again, you could use OpenAI or you could use one of the many available models within the model section or within the bundles available at the bottom. Again, highly recommended for you to look through the templates available and see if there is any of the use case that resonates what you're looking to accomplish with LM based applications.